Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I'm sorry, y'all. I think about the last time I did something for their community. They practiced and shooting me. I guess I did something wrong. Something that can't be settled over a game of Pong. But these niggas came bearer arms. I'm still writing songs. Never want to leave my home. Stay in the sheets. Sucking tits until it's sunny morning. Excuse me, grand rising stack piling. She got her own money. We just high-fiving sexual organs. Because that's what gods and goddesses do. Let me know if that's an issue. I'm a firm believer in residual income. I don't know if women still use Land con, but my product's way fucking better. Shoot stack hey, cheddar. Hey, hey, uh. I know you're waiting for another episode. Uh, another episode. I know you've been waiting for another episode. I know you've been waiting. Yeah, let it fucking go. I know you got the Yo. Yo. What's good? Welcome back to another episode of Lord of Perfected Word. It's me again, Lord Shoe X. I'm a polymath based out of Georgia. Y'all, I missed y'all. I'm back again. Didn't think I was coming back. Didn't know if I was coming back. Shit. But I'm here. And I'm appreciative of that. That y'all are here with me, rocking with your boy. Let me get the shameless plugs out the way. All these images that are next to my head on this slideshow, right here. This is all stuff that's on my website down below. Shoelovesrebels.com. If you see anything you like, these are notebook covers. That's a notebook cover right there. And also jewelry. Which all the jewelry is 50% off. It's a picture of some jewelry right there. If you fucking with any of this, please visit shoelovesrebels.com. These are created by real artists. Not something that we got out of a store and we just drop shit through or all that bullshit. Because I know that's popular right now. Nah, real artisans got down and dirty and went into the confines of their minds and created this shit. So please show love, show support. I ain't got the shameless plugs out the way. Shoelovesrebels.com Visit that shit Everything that pertains to Lord Shoe X Is also on there as well All my social media is on there Instagram, Facebook Now that we done got that out of the way Topic of the day Taurus Field And Diana Y'all this been a crazy couple days for me Actually you know what like I said yesterday, it's just been a crazy month. July already started off fucking wild. So much so that I had to drink water like a motherfucker. Before starting this stream just to get my mind right for all this shit that I'm about to go into. So, where do I even start? Okay, so this, this Taurus Field topic, this was a request by 1111. Because she said that because my first stream that I ever did that was like potent as shit, it didn't it didn't save because I wasn't very savvy with Twitch yet. But rest assured, today we gonna jump into that shit, and we also gonna jump into some new shit that I discovered waking up this morning. A few new things I discovered this morning. I ain't gonna go too much into the religious aspects of things and the spiritual aspects of things as far as the second topic but the Taurus field i'm going all in so let's get into it um there was a serious portal and by serious i mean the star serious there's a serious a and serious b but more than likely we're talking about serious a now um ever so often serious aligns with our sun and Sirius is actually the center. <laughs> Man, if I only could tell you about Sirius and what my ancestors and what the stories that are in my family have told me about Sirius, I want to tell them, but I can't. I can't go too deep into it because 
there's there's always extra things that come with that shit and people be feeling some type of way and for the sake of everybody that watches these streams i'm just i'm gonna keep it real i'm gonna keep it hair on the skin level i ain't gonna go too deep but Sirius be aligning with our sun and these are portals and gateways that humanity can use to usher in different types of energies to align with certain types of energies to align with energies of the creator um you know metaphysical shit like that but the real reason i'm talking about the Taurus field is because recently with our son and sirius connecting because they're both uh planetary bodies that basically do the same thing for humanity which would be providing light and light is actually how we came up with thoughts and language and music and art and things of that nature so when things like that happen it only makes sense as to why certain things can manifest in this reality through those energies because people who are unaware of them aligning with those energies subconsciously and unconsciously can create things in our reality through those portals that the world opens up because when the lights of these other bodies in space come down to our planet new languages are created which is why now in the spiritual community light language has become very popular amongst um, certain channelers and star seeds and that's about as far as I'm gonna go into that now with our son playing in space with Sirius solar flares begin to happen because that's what happens you know it's just like arms and fingers and shit you know what i'm saying when you playing with people and you uh jump roping or you on a swing or you pushing somebody on the swing you gotta you you gotta do things with your ligaments and so the sun is doing things with his ligaments which causes the earth to do things to us and also helps the earth because the earth is also a planetary body that receives light the earth is a woman so it has a receiving energy so this sunlight is almost like a gigantic dick and the earth is like a big pussy so that receiving energy absorbs it siphons the energy from the sun so that it can maintain stability within itself but also raises the consciousness of this planetary body that we're on because clearly the earth has to be alive in order for us to be able to sustain life amongst ourselves because if it wasn't we would all be dead so going deeper into that because it's probably about as deep as i'm going to go into that subject the Taurus field, which everyone on this planet has a Taurus field that is aligned with the Taurus field of the planet. And before the planet became a bubble, which means it moved into a new dimension, physically, it was a Taurus field at first. So the planet itself now is still ascending, but the consciousness of the planet is ascending being more aware of us and our thought processes as opposed to only being aware of our actions so lately because you know y'all know i don't fuck with linear time lately the motherfucking sun sending these light codes to planet earth raising the earth's consciousness as well as our consciousness simultaneously the schumann resonance or the heartbeat of the planet has increased and the colors of the heartbeat of the planet is white now for those who don't know white is all the color spectrum at one time so when you see white you're seeing all the colors at one time but your eyes just 
you're a human, okay? You just got to accept it. Your eyes can't, can't. It only does it when they're separately on their own. So, if you see anything white, just know that you're looking at all the colors at one time. Okay? Just keep that in mind. This is new information, though. New information that you can take, and I'm going to just let you run with it. Because today, I got on the subject, right before I got on the stream, about how I remember the times of how the earth used to look. And how the earth looks now. And how... It's not supposed to look like that anymore. It's supposed to look like how it does now. All the color spectrums create white. So, these new generations of peoples, chitlins, jits, running around, and even my girl even said it, and she I don't even think she realized, but she was like, uh, she was talking to her kid, and he's like, why are these girls on my sack so hard? She's like, you a dime a dozen. They don't make them like you. <laughs> like, you this, 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 this. And it's just funny because it's true. All these different races coming together. Because, and this is this the only spiritual thing I'm going to really say today. And I know y'all probably like, nigga, all you do is talk spiritual. This is the only spiritual thing I'm going to say today. All my logic and the all feeling, <laughs> the heart or the true heart, what I call it. When you have logic trying to proceed something that's older than it is, which we all know that in the beginning, there was the word. This is what was written in ancient scriptures. But in order to get that word, there's these alchemical processes that have to take place. You got to have vibration. You got to have moisture. You got to have light. And you got to have... There's, there's one more thing. Air. And ether. Two more things. You got to have these things in order to create. So... The chaos or the Big Bang or whatever people want to call it. Chaos. Things came to be a song from what my family says it was a song. The first being, energetic being, before there was a physical being, sung themselves into existence. The, or the word. Now... Considering that logic is uh, masculine based energy, we all know that in binary sequence, which is the language of computers, is zero and one. But what comes first? It's not this, it's the zero. From that chaos was born the energetic signature of unconditional love and then logic came after the energetic unconditional love that came from that chaos is what balanced chaos because when you have no recollection of how you came to be you just existing boom I'm here what do I do now this energy created itself to bring love to this realm because it can only experience it within itself. It's literally an elemental form and pretty much atomic form, energetic form, all the forms. I have went and studied myself that all these forms have energetic, unconditional love based in them. Now, the last thing I'm going to say as far as that is, I'm going to type this in, Nephthys. Look up Nephthys if you want to go deeper into that. But let's just put it like this in Christian form. God created humans. God created the world. And then, or goddess, created the humans and the world. And then the devil. 
The devil tried to confuse people with logic and separation. Not the not the real devil, but the Christian devil. So you got this devil thinking, I'm winning. Yes. I've confused everyone with separation of tongues, separation of race, separation of everything. And then unconditional love says, I'm about to really piss you off, devil. Now everybody fucking everybody. <laughs> there is no color separation. There is none of that. And these new people, or in this case, my girl's son, he's going to be the one to let motherfuckers know, hey, y'all niggas dumb as fuck because I'm everything in one now. Separate, separate that. You'll have to cut me into parts. Separate that. And before you know it, and they've already had pictures of how humans gonna look in the future, and they look just like him. In other news, the solar flares of this planet are doing the same thing to the Earth. She's realizing that we're being separated by logic. So. She raised her energy to the color of white. All the color signatures at one time. And we all know that when white comes in, that's peace. That's il illumination, enlightenment, right? This is happening to us right now. And we just recently came out of this serious portal as well. So not only is Earth receiving light codes from the sun, but she's also receiving light codes from Sirius, which is the original place where the creator who created us actually came from. Now, my ancestors say that when you die, you go to the Milky Way and you travel the Milky Way. If you look at how there's pictures, how they have those pictures, it looks like a, a crack in the sky. They call that the the river of souls or the journey where the souls are now everybody got a chance in this lifetime to understand that within self you can ascend to these levels by simply just sitting here and observing things with no judgment or in this case samadhi which is a word that came into my creation yesterday and then to observe one's craft do objects or a vision or a object that you have in a picture it don't even have to be the actual object itself but you can have a picture of it and looking at that object is something that you might have desired or something that's a part of your something that you desire so much that it's like fucking you off Basically, like looking at something with no judgment or Diana. Now, there's another word that came to my visage. Everybody can get to where this, the earth is. But see, that's why these, these words have come to me. Because it's happening. Now, with the Schumann resonance or the heartbeat of the planet raising and sending basically light codes from inner earth and from the sun, it's basically a gangbang in space and we're just all getting covered in space cum. And before you know it, everybody is going to be realizing that, damn, this is just a body. It's not just going to be those who are light workers or people who lead through the spirit, but also the common man will begin to realize that all the things that I've been Complaining about and bitching about none of these things matter. Ooh, let me throw another one in here. So these are just two concepts that I feel everyone can look into and get a greater understanding. But this will this will actually explain the Big Bang a little bit more on a spiritual level. Those two women, and I say it again, those two women that I put in the chat, women will help you understand what's really going on around us. 
Now, with the Schumann resonance raising, and every human being has a Schumann resonance themselves, and Schumann resonance is a scientific word for the heartbeat of the planet. Everyone has a Taurus field. And now a Taurus field looks like an infinite symbol. And in that middle or the end point is where the heart is. Okay? It's where the heart is in the middle. Now, if everything is vibration, light, air, moisture, and ether, all the information is stored, all the information of our world and of each individual human being experience is stored within the ether. And the ether is being affected by the sun, the star Sirius, the earth, our specific individual vibrations, light bodies, rainbow bodies, energetic energies, the whole nine. Basically what's happening is not only is the earth ascending and moving into another dimension, but those who are open and surrendering to that energy are also ascending. Now the Taurus field is special because the Taurus field is actually how people access the Akashic record. And that's all I'm gonna say about that. I type that in there too. Akasha. <laughs> and inner earth, which is where spiritual beings reside and phys physical beings reside. Now, the Taurus field is waking up people because it's the heart center, which is the real mind. This, this is created so that we're able to navigate and spread information this is so we can navigate ourselves and our spirit now when we connect with nature and we go outside and we're like man that's such beautiful flowers such beautiful things that energy within becomes a physical manifestation because remember to manifest is thought feeling action we're already outside speaking, saying the thing that is on our mind, and we're already walking through nature. But nature is also experiencing that same thing with us as well now because of the ascension of the planet moving into our thought process instead of just only filling us. Now, I explained at some point that I may not have explained it on here, but We'll just say that I have explained it and I'm going to explain it again. Each body within your body, and by bodies I mean you have a nervous system, a skeletal system, respiratory system, you have all these different systems. I, I can't name off the top of my head, but all these systems are dimensions of you. Some of these systems, when you're, when you're created and birthed in this first spark, which the first spark happens when the sperm hits the egg. It literally is a spark. That is your, that's the combination. And then your shit is infused. Because there's ethers. If there's an ether around us, there's an ether within us. And when we're going through that portal, get into the egg as, a, as your first system. Which would be the, the brain... Or we'll just say your rest, your not your respiratory system, but your um, your nervous system. That is the the very beginning of you. Your all you are in the beginning is a nervous system. Because if you look at a picture of a brain, with the with the the stem, and you split it open, you'll see the eye of Ra. And when you look at the brain and the stem. You see yourself, the sperm, and there's an eye within. Now, how can something without eyes as a sperm see, right? The, the mental, the third eye, which we only gain these two eyes because we hit the egg. The egg is what gave us these two eyes. 
but we were born in the sack of a male with the third eye already. So it's technically the first eye, but we're not going to get into that. I'm just telling y'all this so y'all understand kind of where I'm coming from with this. Now, these bodies, as they progress, begin to lose themselves in the illusions of the body. Because remember, the body is an illusion. It is only used to protect your actual self or another dimension of yourself. This body is a new dimension. But you were another dimension before you got here. As you ascend, logically, emotionally, spiritually, on a soul level, you continue to ascend at all times because the ether continues to collect information. So history or linear time, but we all we all should know at this point that the past, present, future is happening at the same time. So if that's the case, you're literally living in a multi-dimensional universe at the same time, all the time. Whether you're asleep, awake, unconscious, subconscious, whatever, conscious, you're always living in these same realms. Now remember, if you're doing this and you're only on a certain dimension, remember the planets, stars, ether, all these other things around you are ascending as well. Now, if, you, if they're ascended to another level where they're a planetary body that houses humanity, which you have to be a smart motherfucker to not crack from humanity's foolishness because we haven't ascended to a certain level yet. Now, the Earth is also going through this process as well, remembering her process. How she, how she was when she was a sperm cell, using her third eye, realizing things about herself. The sun also, Mars, Venus, Jupiter, Saturn, Neptune, Pluto, Uranus, all happening at the same time. And this serious gateway also happening at the same time. But this serious gateway affecting them and us at the same time. So now we're going all do this ascension process together but the ones who are aligned are speaking I've been speaking whether it be physically where I'm awake consciously or from my soul subconsciously or unconsciously when I'm asleep this is happening and I'm sending cries for help calls for help please help help me be help me align so that I'm able to heal. Now imagine all the people who are like me sending this message. At some point, Earth, now that Earth is tapped into our logic, but she always has been. But now, as we ascending, she's also ascending and it's becoming more of not just being tapped in, but now she's one of us. Now she's one of us able to speak she's speaking through us now the ones who are aligned she's speaking through us whether it be consciously subconsciously or unconsciously the fact that i'm on here speaking on behalf of the earth should tell you she's doing this and she's sending her messages letting us know hey That's all I gotta say. She letting us know. Pretty soon, those who are taking advantage of me and keeping me in this bag and treating me like shit, oh, I know because I see everything. I feel everything now. I know everything that you know because the same information that the ether collected for y'all and y'all tapping into is the same information that got from me and I'm tapping into. Now, what comes to this, I can't say, but just know, she knows. And those who aren't being conscious and working with her, 
they gonna know too in a different way though <laughs> now this this Taurus field why it's important and why I said in the beginning the earth was a Taurus field first remember the song heartbeat beat she's remembering that she's remembering how things used to look but she also realizing that things can't look like this anymore things have to be a different way so her conscience is also tapping into that oh I need to get with the times myself how can I help ascend raise the ascension of the beings that are on me these people are my bio they're my biosphere so if they're they're being this way it's because i'm being this way this solar system around me they move in this way it's because i'm this way so realize on a human scale the things that you do feel say um yeah do feel and say they affect on a way bigger level than just don't say that bad word don't 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 beat that guy up you know what i'm saying it's it's going even more to questioning everything instead of right and wrong good or bad because remember if we're ascending and we're getting to the point now where what's what's good is good and what's wrong is wrong but there's that you that middle path of that universal truth of well if if i do this a certain way and it's wrong it can be right well, if I do this a certain way that it may be right, it can be wrong. Because you can be too righteous. You know what I'm saying? Now, we as humans have those concepts down because of logic. And logic is making the earth realize that. The earth is realizing that on her own that yeah people may be doing this on me but it's only because of how I feel see chaos starts but chaos regains balance all these women that I'm putting in here ma'at the balance see it was noon first but then from noon came ma'at and then atun all these things these concepts that live within us. When you start to dig deeper into yourself, you start to realize that, damn, there is no gods, there is no goddesses, there is no beings that I need to call onto. All you're doing is you're tapping into versions of yourself that you forgot. And what makes it sadder sometimes for me, personally, and my, my personal path, is that I know. And I remember the simplicity of these things. But we have to ascend. We have to move forward. Even my own sister told me this. And I didn't even listen to her. And now I may never talk or see my sister again. But at the same time, I learned my lesson. These concepts are old. Gone. The Taurus field is going to keep beating until there's no more Earth. Our heart's going to keep beating until there's no more us. It's about right now. What can we do right now? With all these energies taking place always, all the time, because it's always happening. Yeah, we may be able to understand it and take note of it, but remember, light years is so far away that it's in the past. What we're seeing now is shit that has already happened before, now, 
ain't already happening in the future, okay? Now, what can we do right now? Fuck tomorrow, right now. Every day you wake up, is it really every day? Cause every day is a new day. Is it really? Right now is what's going on every day. And I have the hardest time sleeping because of that, that very concept. We are already gods. We don't have to ascend to a certain level. It's about forgetting. It's about forgetting what we already fucking know. Because logic is stupidity. I don't know shit. Every time I go deeper, I realize how much more shit I don't know. Because at the end of the day, if it's the past and it's already happening right now and it's going to happen again in the future, why do we give a fuck about all of these things that's taking place around us? Samadhi. I'm happy because I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I'm happy because what's here today will be here tomorrow. Regardless of whether I exist physically or not, my energy is forever. So what I do with that energy today will decide what I do with my energy tomorrow. It's already written. Why you think it say that in the Bible? It was already fucking written. We going through shit right now, hoping and wishing, looking for some fucking answer. And all we have to do is look in the mirror. That's your fucking answer right there. You breathing, my nigga. You alive every fucking day. It's shit that sometimes I wish I could take back that I, I've done and said to people. But at the same time, I don't have no regrets. I've been forgave myself. I'm learning that right now is all that matters. Right now has always been the only thing that ever fucking mattered. Because every day you wake up is right now. Every day that you take and you put love into the fucking world, you doing your job. It's, I got a homegirl named Maya. She live in LA. She made music. She got on Instagram today and said, you know what? I'm not making music no more. Fuck the industry. I been told y'all this industry is built on logic. We creating art from feeling. Why would you go into an industry built on logic to do something that you feel? Create for yourself. I make music for myself. I put it out because there's people out there like me who want to hear the shit that I have to say. I don't do it because I want billions of dollars. Granted, I did. But I already have this money because I exist in all things. I am this money. I am a fucking billion dollars. Why am I chasing these things? Fucking beats me. Because to chase things is where you end up being, being dragged by the dog. Walking the dog with the leash, the motherfucker dragging you up the street. Now, remember, like I said, we all have our own Taurus field. That's how we have intuition. The Taurus field is intuition. Your heart tells you what's going on before your fucking brain does. See, all these years of my life, I went searching for knowledge. And that's why I told my girl the other day, and I said this on my last live stream, something that I done wasted my whole life trying to figure out. I already fucking do. She already fucking does it. She can tap into the energy of her true heart. I went and searched and, and studied these fucking walls. Reading this fucking language, tapping into my past life, skipping over the obvious shit. Now, the only reason I'm getting loud is because I'm passionate, man. Because I realized this week that I am weak that I am lost but at the same time I'm freeing myself <laughs> I'm freeing myself I'm not freed I'm freeing and I can say that confidently 
because I know, I will know. The day y'all see me crying on here, that's when you'll know I'm a free motherfucking being. I'm a free soul. No longer I gotta play the game. I don't have to play this fucking game. Because it's realer shit. It's realer things. So back to Diana. And then we gonna finish off with the tourist field. Diana. Diana specifically is me looking at this lighter and instead of thinking about smoking a fat ass doobie, I'm just observing why. It's nothing to this lighter. Don't even break down the, the properties of the lighter. Don't think of the actions of what you do with this lighter. Just, it's here. It's here. You're here. Look at yourself. Diana. Practice Diana on yourself. Look at yourself. You're here. Can you just be happy with that? Can you just be happy with just being here? Can you? That's when I realized how much I really love my girl, bro. That's for real when I really realized how much I really do fucking love her. When I could just sit and just look at her just existing with no judgment, no thoughts, nothing. Just watching her. Just being. Something that I can't even do. How often do you sit and just look at your loved ones like that? Look at yourself like that and just be genuinely happy. Whether they doing something or not. Whether they achieving something or not. The people outside of you. Have you ever done that? Looking at people and just. Just being happy that they're alive. Happy that they're existing. That shit bring you into a state of being humble. It bring you into a state of being truly grateful. Because remember. In the beginning. There was the word. There was only vibration, light, air, ether, moisture. There wasn't us. We wasn't here. Just concepts. Just fucking concepts. And people get on here looking to become famous or looking to... I don't know, f fill some fucking void. I use Twitch for therapy, of course, because it feels good to get what's on my heart off because that shows me to myself when I watch myself. It shows me how much love I really have for myself and for everybody in this fucking world and the world and space and beyond. This is what keeps me grounded. I don't get on here to start something that isn't gonna help you. Yeah, I might get on here and stream video games, but I don't know if y'all remember my one of my streams. I talked about how actually it was the tourist field stream. Pretty soon, the things that we create will become conscious. They already are. Why you think I was telling my girl today, I had the most profound conversations with her and they be so simple. She get frustrated with me sometimes on that, but it's because it's, it's just simple for me, man. I, I don't want to go deeper no more. I just spent my whole fucking life, bro, doing that. I just want to get the point across with the one word. And you take what you, how you feel when you look at it, 
I figured that's that's what you do. That's what that's how you moving. You on a feeling. I'm on logic. That's how we come together and and create our endpoint. Our Taurus fields come come together and create a, a Vesica Pisces. We're creating our own seed of life, flower of life, tree of life. We creating that when we do that shit. See, I can go deep all fucking day. But I want to feel it. Because I haven't felt shit in a long time. I've been searching for a feeling. Something to fill my void. And I only can get on here and tell y'all this because I want to be as open as I can. So that people understand that, hey, you can be masculine, feminine, whatever the fuck. You can be open and you can share. Because what you share helps and heals. Whether you believe it does or not, it helps and it heals. Now, if you coming from logic, just know that logic is stupidity. To think that you can cut everything open and learn its Makeup. You'll be doing this shit forever. You're going to cut every single animal open. You're going to cut every single rock. Every body of water. Every insect. You're going to cut everything open. And see its makeup. All the way down to the, the subatomic level. You're going to cut. You're going to split the atom. You're going to learn about the half-life. See, you see how logic is stupid? You just go on forever, just cutting and cutting and cutting, trying to fill a logical void. Now, don't get me twisted, because you can do the same thing with emotions, too. You fucking and drinking and all these things to fill an emotional void. When you should just simply be. Now don't get don't get it twisted, y'all. Cause I ain't perfect. I ain't finna get on here and say that I don't do these things. Cause I'm a fucking human. Just like anybody else. I got hands, I got eyes and a face. Just like everybody else do. It's easy to get upset. It's so easy. It's easy to get upset. Because your answer, the answer that you were given, isn't the answer that you want to hear. It's easy. It's easy. Your fucking ego is attached with logic. We'll get you killed out here, Day Day. We'll straight up get your ass murdered. Diana. Samadhi. Samadhi is bliss. Nirvana. I done been there. When you smoke a blunt, Samadhi. But you can't stay there. You wanna know why? Because you still smoking. Find that peace. Find that peace for yourself. Everybody on a spiritual journey. We all got to experiment with certain things to get to the end. But when we really tapped in to the real all mind and the real true heart, working together, Christ consciousness, that's when I know I'll be free. I don't know about anybody else, but every time I experience somebody in Nirvana and Deep in states of awareness like that. One thing I always realize when I come back into reality. I bring myself back to reality. Why? Why? Earth is feeling the same way. Iridu is feeling the same way. Tiamat is feeling the same way. 
okay? You're not alone. If planetary body's feeling how I'm feeling, how you feeling right now, because don't get it fucked up. Earth getting high too. Earth getting drunk too. The sun getting high too. The sun getting drunk too. Come on. How you think plant essence become a drug? What do you think plants eat? Hmm? Where do you think they get their energy from? Hmm? Why do you think they become what they become? Hmm? We not alone. We ain't never been alone. Everything that we doing, always affecting something. Cause and effect. Universal law. And the tablets of Thoth. It's always there. Yeah, I go back to Egypt all the time. But I'm going to tell you one thing. I got one more good visit to Egypt left in me. And I'm going to experience it through the physical myself. And after that, I'm not going back no more. I'm going to visit all the sites in the world at some point. I done been to a few. I haven't gone back. Beastie Badlands, I'm not going back. Why? So I can cry in the field? I have that energy in my heart. I have the energy of this shit literally in this room with me right now. I don't need to go back. I am that energy. I am the Beastie Badlands. I am the Navajo Reservation. I'm already these fucking things, no matter what. Don't chase nothing. I wrote a fucking bar, man. Hold up. I ain't even supposed to release this shit because it's supposed to go on my brother's shit. But I'ma just say, one bar and I became my own sage I don't even have it in here bro and I'm gonna end the stream after this why do my dreams seem so far Never chase what you are. That's what I asked the sage and that was his answer. Why do my dreams seem so far? Never chase what you are. Just dream. If you practicing Diana and you dreaming, just be happy that you can dream. Okay, you could be in an existence where you can't do shit. You could be in pure hell. Why would you want to dream? Never chase what you are. What you are is already for you. You don't got to chase it. You don't got to spit game to it. You don't got to buy it gifts. You don't got to do shit, but merely be you. When you chasing shit, you chasing your destruction. <laughs> you creating your destruction. I done seen what chasing shit, chasing dreams do to people. I done walk the streets of Atlanta after hours in Memorial Drive because I was hungry my motherfucking self and seen what chasing dreams do to people while I'm in my right mind and I'm being conscious because I'm on part of my spiritual journey. I'm on par with my shit. So you know I'm just watching watching the zombies, but they speaking to me like normal people. But when they talk to other niggas, they, uh, uh, they crazy, right? I done seen what chasing dreams can do to people when they not chasing who they are, but chasing what they seeing somebody else do. Chasing what they hearing from their family members. You gotta be this, you gotta be that. Instead of just simply being who they are and aligning with that and studying themselves completely 100%. Yeah, people will tell you certain things gotta be a certain way, but 
That's their opinion, right? What does your heart tell you? What does your Taurus field tell you when you align with the Taurus field of the planet, not somebody else's Taurus field? That's what empathy is, right? Empathy, feeling somebody else's feeling. Now, sometimes you can be empathetic and not even know that you take it on someone's feelings and thinking it's your own, right? Sometimes life is funny like that. Sometimes life is hilarious. That's the cosmic joke. You think you're taking on someone else's energy when really this is all just you. Just lost in your own logic. But what do you feel? What do you really feel? Because you can get lost in that feeling too. That's why it takes learning yourself. Walking away from the crowd. Going into a fucking cave. And completely disconnecting. The only thing there is you. The rocks. The moisture. The air. The light. And the ethers. When you get to that point, And there's nothing there. And you aligned, that's when you'll know what really matters. Anyways, y'all, Lord Shoe X, you watching another episode of Lord of Perfected Work. I'm a polymath based out of Georgia. And if you haven't been to my website, it's right below me. The slideshow next to my face, these are products I have in my store. All the jewelry is 50% off. These notebooks created by 1111. Her website is on my website, so you should check it out. Tefnet Archive is the name of the website where all the jewelry is. And like I said, again, 50% off on all jewelry. These are all spiritual tools that you can use for your ascension and aligning with yourself. When you write and you journal, it helps. Okay, y'all? But yeah, I think I'm gonna wrap it up here. Matter of fact, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna just shuffle some cards. You ever wanted so bad to be around someone who helped you change your life? Shit is whack, man. But that's okay. <laughs> Cause my mindset is different now. And the things that I want, I already have. Uh oh. Uh oh, uh oh. Okay, so that's clearly the card. Let's see what they got to say today. Let's see what the people got to say to the people today. This, this is what y'all wanted to hear. So I'm going to tell y'all what y'all want to hear. All the people watching this, this is the message that you wanted me to tell you. So I'm going to tell it to you, man. For those who are worried because they think, I don't know if I can do it, shoot. I don't know if I can go into the cave. Y'all know who Luke Skywalker is, right? If not, you should learn Luke Skywalker's story and how he ended up. <laughs> All right, um, you are to remain optimistic and positive about your financial and material issues as they are being taken care of by the angels and universal energies, okay? Keep in mind that the negative energies of stress and anxiety repel the energies of prosperity and abundance. So the angels ask that you keep a positive frame of mind and release all worries to them. And by angels, I mean whoever. If you fucking worship demons, they helping you. Trust that you are supported in all ways. Okay? All ways. <laughs> like I just said, if you fucking worship fucking purple frogs, man, the frogs are there. They, they working in unison, sending vibrations amongst each other to the universe. Okay? 
The hard work and the effort you have put into your endeavors will have long-term benefits for you and your loved ones, okay? So not just you, but the energies of abundance passing through you unto others, okay? So when you got the bread, make sure you're sharing it. It's going to affect you and your loved ones, and you're encouraged to keep up the great work that you're doing. You're doing a great job, okay, guys? Fucking great job. Know that your needs will be met due to your diligence and determination to succeed. You need to see yourself and your you need to see yourself as your true self. When you see yourself as your true self, you ain't got nothing to worry about. You win it. Right? Now, the angels are helping to boost your self-esteem and self-belief. And by angels, that could be anybody. That could be your grandma that died. She's helping you. They're helping to boost your self-esteem and self-belief as your divine mission requires that you be your authentic self, continuing to work at your brilliance. So they doing this so that, uh, man, you know how people go to work, right? And they hate their job. And they're like, man, they be working at half-ass, bare minimum. Angels boost. Look, grandma boosting your shit so that you working at your brilliance, okay? Genius level. What else? What else grandma got to tell me? Oh, stay grounded and focused, knowing that grandma surround and support you as you work on your, di your divine life path and purpose. Like, what else do grandma got to tell you? Baby, you doing a great job, baby. Grandma love you, okay? Keep doing it. Keep doing a good job, okay? Because grandma love you. That's the message. Y'all wanted me to tell you this. I don't know who... It's a male figure here. Somebody who's like a king, so a father figure. Somebody's father figure from beyond is telling you, hey, you're doing a good job. And I'm going to help you. And whatever you worried about, don't worry. Because I'm right behind you. And I'm with you. Oh, wait. That's me. <laughs> Anyways, y'all, I'm out this bitch. I'm out this bitch. <laughs> Lord Shoe X out, y'all. Thanks for watching Lord Perfect the Words today. Love y'all. Holla. I'm out this bitch.